my goodness, that looks incredible. Happy birthday, Mum! What? Mia. Incident number two. Open wide. Happy birthday, surprise! <gasps> What's good Fizz fam, how's it going? Comment one thing down below, what is good about your day today? Something nice and simple. Something what is good about Georgie's day is that it is her birthday today. So me and Co have got our little birthday outfits on, haven't we Coco? You've even got your hair all slicked aside, got a little bit of wax in, haven't you? And if you wonder what Georgie wants to be doing on her birthday, I don't know if you can see maybe in the top corner of the screen. What she wants to be doing on her birthday is making TikToks. Can you see them Koa making TikToks? By the way guys, short form content is one of the things that we are going to be committing to even more so this year. On top of like the regular videos as well, so obviously you can expect videos from us on Toby Tuesdays and Fizz Fridays, but we're going to be trying to post regular vertical short form content just to make you guys laugh so we can give you something like a little little thing to spruce up your day every single day. If you want to go and follow us, we are making short form content on at Family Fizz on TikTok and then also at Family Fizz on Instagram Reels. And then we're doing YouTube shorts as well. Are you nearly ready? We've got lots of surprises for you. Georgie just said her birthday wishes to make TikToks. Got lots of surprises for mummy, haven't we, Koa? By the way, if you guys didn't see the last video, then we did a little who can buy the best birthday present challenge and I accidentally bought too many birthday presents because there's a bit of a mix up and instead of getting one present, I got five presents, so I've still got four of them left. So even though I don't normally buy Georgie birthday presents, it's not for any particular reason, just because, you know, we treat every day like it's our birthday, so anything that she wants, she gets, anything you know, I want, I get that type of thing. But so normally I don't go out of my way to buy anything particular on her birthday. But today I happen to have four presents, don't I, Koa? Got four little presents for mummy. And I think the girls have got some special things planned for mummy as well. Yay, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mum Georgie, mum Georgie, mum Georgie. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Karma. Do we have to do 34 hip hip hurrays? 29 you mean. Oh, 20, I'm sorry. 29. I, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Excuse me. 20, 29. 20, 20, 29. 29, sorry. 29, 29 for the rest of my life. 29. No, I haven't actually really got an issue with being 34. I actually like it, but I prefer 33 because that was just like a better number. It's really funny because you're actually giving me flashbacks of my mum who, like, I don't even know how old she is, but, <laughs> like, sh my mum was, like, 28 for, like, five years yeah. in a row. <laughs> I don't want to see my being my 30s. I actually feel way better in myself being in my 30s than I did in my 20s. I just feel like I know myself more, and I know what I want and who I want to become, and I'm just more comfortable in my Woo! body. That's what we're but, All right! But yeah. I did prefer being 33 because it's a nice number. There's something magical about 33. It doesn't matter, they're just numbers at the end of the day and it's about if you're living in alignment with like your true values and what you want to do in life. How can it be boring anyway? You're 34 in 2022, which is a year of huge change. So it is. it's not I, gonna be boring. I'm really happy about that. Anyway, Calm is really excited for me to open this up because she's been waiting to give it to me for a long time. She's been really patient. So I'm gonna go over there. Look how gorgeous that purple flower is and the gold tape. Karma. Karma's feeling a bit tired today because he keeps waking up a lot in the night. So he's a little bit grouchy, aren't you, Karma? Ready? Oh, it's, there's some text there. I love you so much, mummy. Happy birthday, the 6th of Jan, 2022. Oh, Did you help with this, Sienna? Oh. oh, what's that, Karma? What is it a drawing of? Right, it's a drawing of the house building. The house building? Oh, look, guys. Oh, Thank so you, Karma. I think we've loaded our lips up with lip gloss, so I don't mm -hmm. want to get a sticky lips, but let's just do one anyway. Come on. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Lovely, darling. Oh, thanks, guys. And then also, guys, the other day, the family got me loads of presents, didn't they, for the early birthday surprise video? I can't remember what it's called. It's like a, it's a, a birthday present shopping you can buy challenge. The best so thank you for, for you. those guys as well. I was going to wear Sienna's dress, but it wasn't the most flattering, was it? So no. I'm going to say that. I, thought, I said to Sienna, I'll wear it when I feel a bit more like it will fit me better, all for TikToks, because it's a great yeah. TikTok dress. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, but I thought to wear it all day he liked for it. my birthday might be a bit uncomfortable. But I hope yeah. you like it. I you did. Wouldn't be able to be sitting down right no. now. Great, the leaf uh, blower's coming. Oh no! Come the leaf on. blower. Guys, it's time for the cake yet. Well, I, 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 I,
just in case you're getting concerned, but you just won't be able to hear us because it'll just be. Yeah. Well, so you could get really high on the fiends, which isn't good for you. Well, also, it might like blow slugs at you. Like, right, like, Sienna has just foreshadowed one of the surprises anyway. You will notice, look, look at our little top of the range, highly technologically advanced lock system and here. And knowing, I created that lock system for when the babies tried to go in the refrigerator. Incredibly. <laughs> so, this is how you unlock it. Beep. Beep, 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 beep. beep. You have to press the code, don't you? Close your eyes. Okay. Close, Close your eyes. Oh, Actually, I better, I better pass you the camera, Sienna, because I realise I'm not going to be able to carry it one-handed. It looks amazing, by the way, guys. Like, right, we should have wow. saved singing happy birthday for this, shouldn't we? Yeah, well, we could just sing it Just twice. do it again. Let's just sing it happy many times. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Well. Wow! Oh my goodness, that looks incredible. I didn't wow. make it. Yeah, it does. That Before is cool. you get made it. I didn't make it, okay? Oh, that's gorgeous. I feel like you've already seen it, it, but you know. I may have already <laughs> seen it, but it's still nice to look at because it quickly got put in the fridge and I haven't really like wanted yeah, to yeah. stare at it because I probably It does look really tasty. I wouldn't be in order. Are Just we gonna I eat think... this like before savoury or are we gonna save it or what do you want to do? Savoury is like gonna be thinner. Let's have a cup of tea and a slice of cake, but first of all we have to take a photo of it. Okay, sure, that. sure. Let's take some photos for the Instagram of the cup of tea. That cake looks beautiful. It kind of goes with my dress, it's sort of yeah. like a summery, like, it matches like, perfect, like a British it. summertime. I can't though. put it down, because yeah. the reason why the lock was on the fridge is because we're going to have wandering fingers, and already right. the little the periscope. periscope finger starts coming up towards it. Right. So. I know, should I have that um, cake on my lap and you take a photo of me with the kids sitting yeah. on that table like yeah. that? Sure. And then Can we get the leaf blower man in it as well? Like, <laughs> Like yeah. In the background. Let's <laughs> oh, no, like do a video and you're saying, you're like going, yeah, hey, this fam, I'm so excited, this is my birthday, but all they can hear is, <laughs> for my birthday, shall we do a dare that like you go and say, or like one of you say, can my mum have a photo with you for her birthday and we share it to my story? No, it's really weird. Is really? It? No, it's no. really weird. They're going to be so it. freaked out, they're going to wonder what's going on. Okay, oh, that would just, I personally, I right. would. Let's well take a photo. That. That is definitely yeah. something Georgiana Fizz would do. And I feel or like, I what would make it weird if I start twerking next to him and it's actually the reels? Yeah. Yeah, okay, Mum, you're right, going to Sienna wants to take the cake, No, no, no. And the headbutt. No, 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 where's my phone, Mia? Do you know, know. Mia is the, the person who keeps track of where my phone is. Can you find my phone for me? Sure, please? I think I'm pretty sure it's in my room because we were filming with that. There you go, Chris Bam. There's the picture. Thank Your tea, you. madam. Thank you. Right, let's cut this beauty, shall we? Wow. What's the matter, Karma? You didn't have candles. Yeah, but if I had candles, Mommy. I'd probably eat. All the candles would be bought at the shop. Imagine 34 <laughs> candles on that cake, Karma. That's not too many, is it? We could fit that on. I mean, you could still have one. Yeah. 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 Is it moist? Well, it looks uh, very moist, yeah. The ladies who this made is this so cake, satisfying. they made the cake for um, uh, whose birthday? Your birthday, Mia, mm -hmm. and, and then Dad. Darren's birthday, and now I'm going to have one. Right, how do I... Um, I think maybe you need a sharper knife, not a table knife. Yeah, I May know. May I ask, yeah. why are you cutting a cake with a table get knife? Get a big knife, Julia, oh, get the big knife. Back. Get the um, machete. Yeah, get, yeah. The get the machete. That's what you need for a Karma keeps the machete behind the freezer. <laughs> really? Um, By the way, guys, I don't know machete, it's Karma. She's really yeah. good with it. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You're a machete pro, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Like when we go um, to the. Karma's almost there. When we go in the mountains, Karma gets her machete. She starts chopping the wood for a fire. Well, she's then she a likes the belt as well, yeah. isn't she, girls? Yeah. We didn't tell you this, Fizz Fan, but she's been having karate lessons. Look at that look. That's her girl. karate look when she's about to judo chop. Don't mess with her, guys. <laughs> right, here we go. I'll give you the first piece, Reggie. <gasps> oh, oh wow. that's stunning. That looks beautiful. That's so pretty. This cake is just like, nice, yeah. so feminine. It's I feel lovely. like you've got inspiration from Sienna's 
Jane's birthday, you're going for a cottage core theme with your I, dress. I know. I was out for When you lot always say, oh, that's so cottage core, man. Like, they say it all the time, all down here. <laughs> Don't you just hear that time that Mia and Cindy just go, that's so cottage core all the time. Um, you see another language to me. That's it. Right, <laughs> anyway, look, come on, you little clever clogs. So apparently, this is going to cut through the strawberries. Ready? No, of course um, it isn't. Let's not be absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Are organic. Oh, Did you hear us say that? She said the strawberries are organic. Kyle looks like he's like, I want some of that. Isn't the cake gluten free as well? Yes, the cake is gluten free, wow. yeah. And I think the icing is coconut frosting whipped cream. Mm. I can taste it. Ready? Wow. Can I try it properly? Can I try it? Yeah, of course. Oh, it's it's your right. birthday. What you do first of all, get a cup of tea, a sip of tea. <laughs> proper yeah, British builder tea. And then you get a proper British strawberry shortcake cake with a the proper British mix. lad. A proper British lad next to you. <laughs> yeah? Can you try a bit? Thank you. Top notch. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> right, are you ready? Okay. Out of ten. Out of ten. <laughs> ten. Ten out of ten. Very licious. Very licious. Very licious. Very delicious. Yeah. And I like that film. Anyways. Guys, I think it's really tired. Oh, does he not want it? What's it out of 10, Koa? He doesn't oh, want it. What? Is that a zero? Koa is the biggest foodie out of the whole oh, family. I'm feeling that good. No. Alright, let's eat the cake and we've got more surprises for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mum! Happy birthday! I promise I won't cry today. Oh my goodness. Right, there's loads in here. I'm gonna open this one first. Wow, the bag is so pretty. Even that alone in itself is so gorgeous. <gasps> These earrings, oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. I do. Wow, they're beautiful. Thank you. Dad. Well, there's more in here. We can just say they're from all of us. They're, okay, they're, okay, quite, yeah. they're from all of us, ah. pretty much. I don't they're know what they gorgeous. are. They're gorgeous, <laughs> wow. Oh, I can't believe this. You've got me so many things. Wow! Oh, it's immune. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that look gorgeous. Oh, thank you guys. I love jewelry so much. Thank you guys. I I would. I should put these in today as well. Oh my goodness, they're gorgeous. Wow, thank you guys. Oh, I love the colours on them. Did you all help out with these? Or did you help well, out? I help her. The colours are gorgeous. Dad, like, deciding wow, thank you. Hang on though, hang on. Come up. Yes. Come with me, quick. What? Quick, I come. I haven't got them all out yet. We've got to get mummy some more, haven't we? More? Happy birthday, Mum! Wow. Did you buy the whole... Wow, look, even now, look, look, I've got earrings, necklace, bracelets. By the way, I haven't even got something out here. The colour, I love it. This is definitely my colour. Wow, thank you. That's look at pretty. that. Wow, is the material like bamboo or something? Yeah, the lady said it was stretchy so you can eat a whole birthday cake and it'll still fit. Oh, mm. this is gorgeous. Oh, this will look really, really nice. Like when we go to the beach as well with some gold sandals. Thank you. Does Interesting you mentioned that. Yeah, really? Well, just keep opening the presents. What? Everything. All the things go oh. together. It's one outfit. It all goes as yeah. a nice coherent outfit. Okay, is this a dress or a top? I think it's, it's a dress. It's a dress that's really nice. Wow. It's going to be a butt skimmer. Well, you know I like the butt skinners. Yeah, I know you do. What? You can predict the what? future, I reckon. Yeah, you can. <gasps> Look at that. Look at the tissue paper. This is so gorgeous. I'm going to steal that from my Oh, <gasps> Wow. Thank you. I literally said gold cheese. And then you got me. Gold sandal. <gasps> wow, they're gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, wow. I know your size. They're so gorgeous. More presents! Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. You're welcome. More Thank you. <laughs> oh. I love you. More yeah, they all go together. I think there's five. Thanks, I'm not sure there might be six things what, now. You, well, yeah. Wait. One. No, this. Two, three, 
four, five, and then the glasses, six. Yeah, so there were six. Then. You've got okay, more that. I need to practice my counting. There's more Thank that. No, there's not more. That is actually oh. all of them. <laughs> These things are gorgeous. They're, I love how they're all like from different. I'm really glad that you didn't give them all to mum on the day because we definitely would have known who would have been the winner. Yeah. Now. Well, I was in the shop and I was being the camera woman. I was having such a good time. Dad was like, so Aww. he was like, there was two different like earrings. They looked almost identical. He was like, which one goes with the dress? Betty he kept on running back and forth to the shop. Like, wait, do this type? Because there was two different shoes that were like similar. He was yeah. like, does this one go better or this one? And like, he, he got Aww. really into it and he would really want it to, to be like perfect. That's really sweet though. Oh. I actually might cry a little bit now. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna hold it in. That sweat or tears, Mum. I'm gonna hold it in. It's really hot by the way, like I'm sweating. We could have a fan on. We could have we just filmed another TikTok as well, guys, and we could have literally had a fan on above us the whole time. Okay mum, don't come in the kitchen, okay? So me and Sienna have decided that for Mum's birthday, another present, which is gonna be very thoughtful, is Mum is a very, very big foodie and she loves this recipe book. So we're both gonna be making a recipe each. Sienna is on the sweet, and I'm on the savory. So, I'm gonna show you what it is. Mom, look away. I feel like it's such a... A comfort, a comfort, and it's just like, I don't know, a really good meal. I don't want mom to hear. I'm gonna end up giving it away by accident. I want her to wait until it's completely made. What I'm making. So, you may think like Mia said about how I'm making something sweet. Now we've got the cake and like, we already had half of the cake and we've still got enough for like Don't a big slice away. each. And so I was like, I'm not gonna make a cake, but I'm, I still wanna make something sweet. So I decided to make this. Let me find it. <laughs> there we go. So I was thinking that this could even go with the cake and then we could have the, with the cake and it would be really delicious. So that's what I'm making. Um, I just chopped up like literally all the potatoes except for one. And then I chopped them off all in cubes, put them in there. And then I realized I want to make like really nice, like smooth mashed potato. Normally we make like rustic. So I just got in the habit and I forgot. So now I need to peel each individual cube. Oh no. <laughs> After me has that dilemma, I have an even worse dilemma. What? For some reason yeah. I didn't check like I knew that we had frozen bananas because we usually do because like mum and dad use them in their smoothies in the morning. And then I looked in my book and it says six frozen ripe bananas sliced. That is all of the frozen bananas we have. And that's like the equivalent of one banana. And you may be thinking maybe you could just use non frozen ones. <laughs> I kind of feel like they're ready for the the bin, but I decided to have a look for another recipe and caramel chewies. We have medjool dates. I don't know if we have medjool, but we definitely have dates and they're all going out of date, so out of date. Yeah. So that's good, because mum loves using things up. Then we have natural peanut, we have almond butter. Then we have chocolate, because I needed chocolate for the other recipe anyway. Peanuts, but they're optional, okay. So I have everything. After that dilemma, I guess it was kind of sad because I was excited to make ice cream, but we still have got a dessert for mom. So I'm making like pizza right now, but it's very fun. I I'm gonna make a soft pizza because I very like soft pizza, so I am. And also I like making it. So um, I'm gonna put it in there, in there all the time. And then but I'm making potatoes. And I'm going to be making uh, cookies. And also I'm going to make my own pizza. And it's gonna be very fun. So I am gonna make my own pizza. <laughs> it's gonna be delicious. And I'm gonna save it for mom's birthday. And then we're all gonna eat it when people come around. So, yeah. Mia. Incident number two. Good. Runaway lentils. I just opened the packet and it went everywhere like crisps, but tiny lentils instead. By the way, I'm making my chocolate sauce and I'm trying to stir it one handed with my left hand, which is a little bit difficult, but you, you get my point. Chocolate sauce. Get some out of date dates. Dress them up with some chocolate sauce and they'll be ready for a date. Now, my recipe has a lot of twists and turns. So, you know how I, I finished making the date thing, dates going on a date, whatever. Um, and 
This is one of the plates, this is the second one in the freezer. I'd make them for like a little snack, treat, dessert sort of thing. But it's mum's birthday and like Mia's making something really fancy. Like usually we have coconut curry, we have it like every night and it's delicious. But today we're gonna have something like very different. And so I wanted my dessert to be very different as well. Cause like, you know, that's something I would usually make. And the ice cream was a great idea, but obviously we didn't have enough ingredients. So I decided I could use the dates and me and Mia also said that the dates are more like dessert toppers than actual desserts or like yeah, or more like snacks. Top, yeah, they're more like like snack little bite things. So I decided to make this tiramisu mousse. So I'm not gonna do the tiramisu part because we don't have any coffee. I'm just gonna follow the chocolate mousse part and just keep out the coffee. This is actually from a different recipe book. This one is clean cakes. And then the one that we were using for Mia's recipe and the ice cream and the, the date things is this one and it's mum's favorite. Um, she loves it so much. I love cooking. Like I was saying to Mia the other day that there's so many different forms of art. I do, for a brief example, watercolor painting, sketching, knitting, cooking. Cooking is one of them. I was still having his nap for his fan, but the girls have finished now and it looks absolutely incredible. Hang on, I'm gonna save the surprise. Let's get mum first, shall we? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it smells really nice in here. It smells like that lychee candle. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> it smells of yummy food. Open wide. Happy birthday, surprise. <gasps> Feliz cumpleaños. <sighs> Did you two make this? Yes. yes. Well, I wow. actually made this course. This is course one. I what? It. Yes, I did two course one. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I sit here. Wow, that looks incredible. <laughs> Salad and that is oh, comfort food. Soul yes. food, Mia. Yes. We were talking about soul food the other day. I just thought I was going to make like a fancy meal, but I thought, to be honest, I think we'd all prefer this. <laughs> it is fancy though. What yeah. are you on about? Or you mean like fine dining yeah, stuff? Like yeah, like a fancy meal, but. Like no. It did actually take me a long time because I've never made it before. Wow, the food I love. And I had to change the recipe because we didn't have all the right stuff and like that. So. This is the food I love. Yeah. Like hearty, Same. comfort food and then greens. Come Enjoy. on, Cheers. Cheers. You need to do a toast for your birthday, huh? Cheers. 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 Cheers, Darren. Cheers, Fisker. Cheers, Karma. Cheers. That's what I like to see a proper vegan. <laughs> Salad is vegan. delicious. And I've already tried some of this. I'm gonna try another bit just so I can get a remembrance of what it's like. It's incredible. This is so good, Mia. It's got peas mm -hmm. in it and lentils fit around. It's like really hearty. Darren, you're gonna love this. I know you love peas in your food. Can you make this like once a week for us? Like mm -hmm. every Saturday night or something? Mm -hmm. Cause I feel like we always have like a curry every night, which I love, but this is just so, yeah. oh, it's amazing. Mm. Part two of the meal, course two is coming. Right, I'll bring yours out first. Right, here we go. Okay, I'll give. Nice uh, I've got your spoon. No, I'll give the three your curls first, and then I'll present your very well oh. presented. Okay. Open your eyes. Wow, Sienna. Wow, chocolate this... mousse. Wow, this looks fancy. And it's very cold as well. Oh, Sienna, this like looks ice cream amazing. Wow, this. Is... Oh, fizz fan. Now, there's a long story ooh, behind ooh, this. Oh, look at that. The texture. Can I just look? Yeah. It's all thick. Mm. It's very rich. So mm. you only have a very small portion. Wow. Well, that, that looks a big portion. <laughs> I'm really laughing because you're in a portion. Okay. <laughs> so, but I was actually going to make cookie dough banana ice cream. But then. <laughs> Stop it. Just go to the birthday girl. Doesn't mean you can be. But then, um, <laughs> but we actually have to finish it the <laughs> Then we didn't have enough um, frozen banana. <laughs> Stop, Mom. Sorry, we sorry. didn't have oh, enough. Oh, I didn't have enough frozen banana. Oh, so no. then I made. So see the date thing? Mm. It's actually like its own dessert. And then I made that, and I was like, I kind of want to give her something fancy because Mia made something mm. very different and like. Fancy, mm. so I thought that I could use that as a topping because it's more it's topping and a snack rather than a dessert. Try it. Okay. It's covered in chocolate and the date. Mmm. Got sea salt on it. 
Yes. Mmm. Mmm. So like, right. I really want to try mine. Yes, I agree. Mm. Because they are so rich and creamy. I know. That's indulgent. Mmm. 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 Glad you did really well with this, you know. This is really mm. good. Smooth as well. I feel like this is the best dessert you've ever made. Yeah. By Ready? Far. Yeah. Finishing off the day, as we always do, at the beach. Beautiful sunset. Wow. A little bit cloudy today. I wear the sunglasses you got me. And I wore the gold shoes here as well, didn't I? Yeah. But I, took, I took them off that I didn't want them to get sandy. All right. Yeah, but I'll let you see my eyes now because, um, yeah. They're beautiful. It's rude. Oh, <laughs> no, no. I did. No, I just meant... What are your words of wisdom, anyway? Like, right. so you're, oh, oh. you're another year oh. older, another year wiser. Okay. What have you learned in the last year of your life? Um, well, it's kind of like what I've learned is just being more cemented. Like as you get older, like some of the lessons you've learned, then you like truly get to understand them a lot more. And I feel like one thing maybe, which might be really helpful for some of you to hear, is that you should kind of view life as different chapters. You always say this as well, but like you can have different little sections of your life. It's like where you're going to be mum, where you dedicate your whole life to toddlers. Then you can be go through like the marathon runner phase. Then you can go through the phase where you're a student and you're learning a new language. Because I feel like that way it makes your life feel more exciting and you, and you get to focus on different little things rather than when you're stuck in the moment, say the being the busy mum of toddlers, then you can kind of feel like, oh, this is my whole life. But I can destroy the people here. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can feel like your whole life is dominated by it. So you're going to say, yeah. and then <laughs> karma conveniently. And also, dogs are very crazy. Dogs are very crazy. Well, it's basically they are, yeah. a really positive way of saying that what I've learned is not to get too attached to identity. So, for instance, when I was marathon running, it became my whole life, and I really like thought that was me. And like, for instance. When I decided that I didn't want to do math and running anymore because it was quite like draining on my body, then I kind of felt a bit lost afterwards and I didn't know who I was because I became really attached to that. Mom, and then I boy. took on bodybuilding and it's a oh, dog. It's <laughs> and then I took on bodybuilding and I really became became attached to being Georgie with the big muscles and like the abs and stuff. And then became a mum, but then I felt a bit lost in that transitional time of where I was letting go of going to the gym every day and being like super lean and muscular to being like pregnant and breastfeeding and having a different shaped body. And so what I've come to realize is that don't become necessarily attached to that, to that identity, but, but view it as different little chapters in your life and have fun with being a different like character, doing different things. That makes life fun, but then you don't get so attached to things and then you just go with the flow and like be quite fluid. Yeah. So like, I don't know, like maybe in a couple so, of years. So as in, even if there's like things that you're enjoying happening, don't necessarily think they last forever. And then if there's things that you might not be enjoying what's happening, don't necessarily think yeah. they last forever. Just view everything also, as, as also, different little mini also, journeys in the big journey. Yes. Yeah. Also, yeah. It's yeah, Karma? The people and dogs are crazy. Yeah, what have you learned in the last year of your life? Uh, doing drawing. Doing drawing. Aww. That's your life lesson in the last yeah. year, yeah? What have you learned in the last year of your life, Sienna? Um, to always view things like from different perspectives of like how different people feel and like how to view things and not just in your own like perspective to think about like how other people would, would like feel in that situation. Oh, that's really sweet. Put yeah. yourself in, in other people's shoes. Yeah. Have you got something that you've learned in the last year of your life, like a little life lesson? I think it would to be like not to put too much expectations in place so like plan things in your life but like if things don't go the way you expect them to go like yeah. just ex like understand that your life is one big plan and there's not like a rush to do anything right and like just trust the process and trust the flow nice yeah koa have you got a life lesson <laughs> oh the sin <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Too close to the sea when yeah. the tide's coming. Right, there you go. That's the life lesson. The sea can always take you by surprise. <laughs>